Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Financial Accounting 101 at Santa Ana College. Um, we'll start out with an introduction to the syllabus here. As you see, this is the first page of the syllabus, and I want you to get a good handle on what we're going to be doing in the course. So, with no further ado, we'll get started. As you know, this is the uh, uh, fall semester, and we're going to be going from October 18th to December 12th. I am Steve Wilson. I will be your instructor for this course. Uh, the ticket number is 00352. Um, if you're viewing this, you probably already know that because you're registered. But this, this course is going to be deployed entirely online. However, I do have um, some actual live Zoom tutoring on Tuesdays from 10.30 to 2.30 and Thursdays from 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock. So I'm there at those hours. You're welcome to drop in any time using the system that Santa Ana College has developed for this purpose. Very nice. Not all colleges do this, and I'm delighted to be able to offer you this time. Um, my email is as shown here, Wilson underscore Stephen. You'll notice the spelling is with a PH at Santa Ana College edu. We're in the fall semester and we will do these and again online as far as times go. So there's no scheduled times that we're meeting. All right. I provide you with my phone number. I would tell you the truth that the dean has said never share your phone number with students, but I find that it works very well. And don't hesitate to call me if you have problems or issues that are a little bit more complicated or you have life problems or something that you just want to talk about. Um, no text, please. I don't respond to text. Everybody in my household does. And I suspect most of you do, but I don't like text. So when I say call, I mean actually have a phone conversation. The, uh, uh, the teletype went out in World War II, so I don't feel the need to resurrect that. Um, but my preferred contact is, in fact, the SAC email. All right. Um, here, it gives you a little bit about the course description, and it is your first course, introductory course in financial accounting and it includes many many things as to how we develop numbers that are used for published financial statements and you'll see most of those here I won't re read them to you you can do that on your own uh, as this syllabus is a, is a little bit long I throw in a table of contents so that you can find things during the course a little easier and We'll start out with Zoom and Proctorio. Um, again, the course is deployed entirely online, and you're expected, though, to log on to Canvas and complete assignments and exams by the days and times indicated. We'll go through this a little later, but page 18 of this syllabus has course assignments by due dates. So you can see what everything, when everything is due on one nice little page there. Um, and we'll go through that in a second. Okay, so in Canvas and during the course, please proceed systematically through the Canvas modules. More on that to come in a second. Um, should there be a need for an in individual live streaming, um, you can jump on those tutoring links that I, that I, published or I showed you a few seconds ago or you can just call me on the phone and say gee can we go through some things that are better served if I can see it through zoom we can set up ads ad hoc zoom meetings at any time and if we do you would access that through the confer zoom link in canvas very easy um, and that would take you right into zoom and we will go from there um, 
When we do that, the Zoom allows for your individual videos to be visible, just like you're seeing mine down at the bottom of the screen here. Um, and we try to approximate a face-to-face -face discussion experience. Um, so, But there will be, again, no actual instruction physically on campus. Okay, Proctorio requires, requires using webcam and a microphone, both of which are required for this course. You can, Santa Ana College offers some loaner Chromebooks if you don't have that um, available uh, currently. So, in any event, you also need to, Proctorio is a proctoring software package that combines machine learning and advanced rate facial detection technologies to deter cheating, frankly. Um, so what we do, all the exams um, are done via Proctorio. And you need to use Google Chrome. It is required. You need to have the Google Chrome Proctorio extensions enabled as well. I have a nice little video that shows you exactly how to do that. I think you'll find it very easy. It can be done in less than a minute if you know what you're doing. And a little video will show you exactly how to do that. Um, so, uh, some people would say, well, why are you going to all that trouble to proctor these exams? And the reason is we have agreements with four-year colleges, which um, allow us to represent that these four units are transferable to those four-year colleges. It's part of our agreement with those four-year colleges. Okay, so we have a mission statement for the Santa Ana College and the business division mission statement and course learning objectives. I don't think you need me to go through those with you. That's pretty, pretty um, easily read by you. Uh, but the student learning outcomes, you're going to learn a whole bunch of things in this course. How to measure and record financial transactions, debits and credits, um, you'll be very familiar with by the end of the course. How we communicate uh, these financial state of financial information through what's called generally accepted accounting principles, GAAP, financial statements. And then at the very end, will evaluate those financial statements by using ratios and fina other financial statement analytical techniques. Okay, so um, not only is this valuable for business, but just today I use some of the um, lessons that I teach personally to go through some of my retirement planning and that kind of thing. So. How you do that, if you're buying a house, you're buying a car, um, all those things, you'll learn how, learn something about that. So when you have those experiences, you're well prepared. Okay, um, back up here. Um, okay, I'm skipping some of the information because I'm sure you'll want to come back and read this a little more carefully. But the required textbook is the McGraw-Hill 5th edition um, uh, by Spiceland, Thomas, and Herman. And it comes with Connect, very important, Connect. So it's, uh, uh, that's where you're going to be doing all your homework and, and exams will be in Connect. It's a third-party system that McGraw-Hill uh, provides great system and I think you're going to really enjoy it. So you have several options as far as getting that um, textbook and connect registration codes. First, which is the option one, which is the one I recommend, the cost is $89. Uh, you get a new hard copy textbook and an online textbook as well, an ebook with many excellent study resources in it. There's a homework manager. Uh, you get the registration access codes for Connect. And this is good for 12 months. 
So if you need to retake the course for whatever reason, you don't need to rebuy the textbook and, and connect those if it's done within a year. Um, I think this is the best option, uh, certainly the one I would get if I were taking this course. Um, you can, if you, if you try to purchase this information from other resources, um, be very, very careful. It's, this is a very good price that's been negotiated with McGraw-Hill, and it's going to be pretty hard to beat uh, option one. There is an option two, however, and here you can purchase just the ebook. You don't get the hard copy textbook, and you don't get the uh, um, the option to retake the course without paying another sixty-four dollars or fifty-seven dollars, whichever version you get. But um, my experience has been it's it's better to use option one. I like hard copy textbooks, of course. Um, now, let's say money is a little tight. It, it's always been a little tight with me, and my guess is for most of you it is too. You can get a three, a two-week free trial period. And that free trial period, um, you can start all your homework. You don't get a hard copy textbook. Maybe you're waiting for it to be mailed to you for, or for whatever reason. Um, you can use the ebook in the interim, so there's no reason to fall behind um, in the class. Don't fall behind. This class moves very quickly. And if you have any issues associated with McGraw Hill, here's their technical support number right here. I find that they're very helpful, um, and I think you'll find them to be that way also. So, um, Okay, so here, when we access uh, Connect, these homework and smart book assignments are in Connect. Anything assigned through Connect must be submitted through Connect only and will not be accepted in any other form. I call that the textbook bundle. So you, when you get the textbook, you also get the Connect codes, which, which uh, I'll show you in a minute how easy that is to uh, do. So once you've registered, you will also have access to your complimentary ebook and other study and research aids. Okay, you must register for Connect as a student with the access code provided for you in the textbook bundle. So it gives you directions here on how to how to do, register. Use your 20-digit code to get um, access to Connect etc etc um, and uh, if okay so um, we talked about all those some connect tips I do want to go through that very quickly you can read most of this yourself but one thing I want to stress you can save and exit periodically to save your work and avoid getting timed out if there's no activity within 60 minutes, Connect will automatically log you out. But be careful. When you press the Submit button, that means you're ready for all your uh, uh, homework assignment or smart book assignment to be finalized and have the points come over from, uh, from Connect into Canvas. That's, that's very important. It's very hard to undo that if you do that incorrectly. So be sure you do that. The other caution I'm going to say is be sure to use the link in Canvas to access Connect. There are other ways to get in Connect, but this is the way you want to do it. If you do it other than that, your points may not come over into uh, Canvas properly. And then, of course, I talked about McGraw-Hill's technical support number, and there it is right there. And then access to Canvas. Um, Santa Ana College has its own distance education department, and you can check that out with these phone numbers or email addresses. All right, I think that does it for uh, video number one, and when we come back, we'll take a look at course policies and 
procedures.